Hi, welcome. My name is Allison and I'm going to show you how to add a cutaway shot um, in Windows Movie Maker while also preserving the audio narration behind the shot. Um, so this is a little jargony, um, but a cutaway shot is basically um, a shot of continuously filmed action that then inserts something else. So you have a, this continuous shot, you're showing something, something, and then for the sake of demonstrating, putting in an image, putting in a different little video clip, you cut away to something different, some different visual, and then you cut back to your original shot. Okay, so that's a cutaway shot. I'm going to show that in this video I'm making here on the State Fair and the history of the State Fair, where I'm kind of sitting here as a talking head at the whiteboard explaining the history of the State Fair, but at some point I want to cut away to a historic image of the State Fair. I want to show that for, we'll say, maybe seven seconds, and then I want to cut back to the, this video of me narrating the rest of the history of the State Fair. All right, so the cutaway shot, the way you can do it in Windows um, Movie Maker is a little bit uh, roundabout, um, but it definitely works. And the idea behind it is that you want to sandwich your cutaway shot with two copies of this sort of intro framing shot, so me at the whiteboard. I'll have a second copy here, and then I'm going to put my cutaway shot in the middle. Then I'm going to trim the shots on either end so that my cutaway shot sits there for seven seconds in the middle of it all. And then I'm going to add back in the audio narration underneath that cutaway shot. All right, so let's go ahead and add a second copy of this original framing shot. All right, so here's a second copy. This is the beginning of this process. Oh, you'll notice when I added my second copy, it uh, ended up upside down. That happens sometimes, just rotate it, not a problem. Okay, so now I have two copies of this original, <laughs> I look a little weird in this, um, but two copies of this original framing shot, and this zone right here is where I'm going to add my cutaway shot. So this is sort of this critical zone where I want to add this historic image of the state fair and cut away to that. So I'm going to go ahead and click add photos and videos and I happen to have the photo right here. It's a JPEG. You could use a PNG file. Um, so I'm going to put that in and that's a photo. And you'll notice um, by default we can check under the video tools here the duration for this photo is going to be seven seconds. So that's a Windows Movie Maker default. Not a bad idea. Alright, so I'll leave that in there. Now, the next step of this all is to take note of um, where you want to split over to the cutaway. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and watch my video. Um, I can go through the timeline, just hit play. And uh, let's say I decide to um, cut away maybe at this point here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set this as the end point for my video. And then this cutaway shot will scoot up to the end there. All right, so I'm going to hit set end point. And you'll see that now my cutaway shot is a little bit closer to um, my video here. And at this point is where I'm going to go ahead and display that cutaway shot. So I can go through and we'll see I'm talking, talking, cutaway, and this will play for seven seconds. There's currently no narration behind this cutaway shot, but it will play for seven seconds. And then I go back to my original shot, but this is from the beginning, so I need to go and edit this at the other side. All right, now what I want to do is I want to check how long exactly and at what point exactly did this cutaway shot start. So I can do that by accessing the trim tool here for my first part of the sandwich. So this is the beginning of the sandwich, this is the other side of the sandwich. Go ahead and access the trim tool for this first part. And you'll see that I started the cutaway at about 57 seconds. All right, so 57.23. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just take note of that. I can just cancel out of this. I'm just doing that to just double check. And then this is going to last for seven seconds. And then I need to cut back to my video again seven seconds later from where I stopped the cutaway. Um, so then I just need to make sure that 57.23 plus 7 is... That's going to be 64 seconds, 0.23, basically. All right, so then I go to the second part of the sandwich, and all I need to do is make sure that I set the start point for this video to be at 64 seconds, 
or 64.23 technically. Um, so basically you'll just notice I've gone, played this whole duration, set my cut point here, cut away to this shot, and then I basically skip second second seven seconds and then start this second video seven seconds later. All right, so I'm gonna go do that by setting the, I can go into the trim tool and set the start point here to be 64.23. All right, save trim. And then I'm going to play till the full end of the rest of the video. So that's not a problem. So you'll see if I start here, play the video, I'm going to cut away for seven seconds. This will have, currently has no narration. We're going to add that next. Watch that for seven seconds. And then we get right back to my video where I was narrating at the whiteboard. All right, so that's a great cutaway so far. The only last thing to do is to go back and add the audio back in. And so I'm missing audio from 57 seconds to about 64 seconds. And so that's what I need to go and add underneath this cutaway right here. So I can do that by heading to home. And under this record narration button, instead of recording, I'm going to choose add a sound. And the sound that I'm going to add is actually my original video file but I'm going to strip the video from it and just add it as a sound. So it's a little counterintuitive. You're actually adding the video file, but the only part that you're adding from the video file is the sound part of it. All right, so I'm going to click Add a Sound. I'm going to go back. Oh, you'll notice I don't actually have any sounds in here. That's because it's all videos. But I can go ahead and change from audio and music. It's going to try to detect that to video files. And then those will show up as things that I can use as sounds in my video. So I'm going to grab the video... Um, track that I was using as my sandwich here. And you'll notice it got added in, but this time not as a video, just as a strip of sound here underneath. It's the same length as the original video, it's just a sound narration. Now all I need to do is trim the front ends of this, just so I get the seven seconds that I care about to cover up this cutaway right here. So the seven seconds that I care about are from 57.23 seconds to 64.23 seconds. I can choose that here in narration tools under options and set the start point, not the start time. The start time is where in the timeline it's going to go. Um, but the start point to be 57 and the end point to be 64. All right, hit enter there. And you'll notice that my clip was trimmed perfectly to this perfect length to cover this, the rest of this uh, cutaway shot. So this, we're pretty much done now. You basically see that you have the video starting, the beginning of the sandwich here. It's going to cut away to my image, my cutaway shot here, but play the um, video narration, the seven seconds that are relevant to cover that up. And then it's going to go right back to the original video and pick up where we left off, skipping those seven seconds that were covered by the cutaway shot here. One last thing, I used a still image here for my cutaway shot but you may also want to add something like a little video clip um, inside. So still images are easier to use as cutaway shots. The only difference um, when you add a video clip as a cutaway shot here instead of, instead of a still image is you'll actually need to mute the video clip because video clips come with audio associated with them. So you'll need to mute this video clip so that it doesn't conflict with this cutaway, cutaway narration that we added underneath it. So all you have to do for that is here, change the, sorry, it's not under narration volume. It'll be under video volume here. This is a still image, so you don't see it. But if this were a video here as, that I'm using as a cutaway, I could go ahead and mute the video volume here and just not have any video associated with my cutaway clip and just keep the narration from my underlying um, original framing clip here. All right, I hope that helps you add a cutaway. It's a little tricky, a little bit of a workaround in Windows Movie Maker, but it definitely does work. Thanks for listening.